Hello, Dot Hackers. Yesterday was June 20th, 2022, the 20th anniversary of the PS2 video game Dot Hack in Japan, released back in June 20th, 2002. This game was developed by CyberConnect2. This does not include the anime, which was published in April, or the manga, Legend of Twilight, which was published back in January. They were focusing solely on the video game. Now, Bandai Namco now had made an announcement, which was pre-announced by Hiroshi Masuyama over on Twitter that later today that they would be releasing some news, and it turned out to be a video. Now, I want to get the elephant out of the room right now. There was no video game announced for modern consoles for a remake of the PS2 era of .hack video games. Most people um, were under their impression by Gamatsu and other news articles that Last Recollection would be a type of remake or remaster of the original .hack games, Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, Quarantine, and we did not get that announcement today. So I want to tell you that now, get it out on the open. There was no video game announced on the 20th anniversary of .hack. Now this Last Recollection speculation was based off the trademarks over in Japan, the trademarks in Spain, and the trademarks in the United States. If we take a look over at the trademarks for in Japan, this right here in Japanese is for the Last Recollection. Here is the English version as well. This is the Spain one that was done shortly after. And this is the North American one, Last Recollection, filing date April 13th, 2022. So that didn't bear fruits. Uh, one thing, I'm not saying that this is not going to be a dot hack game. This could be anything by Bandai Namco. I mean, we are talking other titles that are under their belt, such as Pac-Man, the Tales series, any number of Namco games published back in the 90s or 80s. Last, last Recollection could be .hack, and it could not be .hack. I'm not saying it is, but the most noticeable thing is it does not have the word .hack in front of it. Like when they did .hack Last Recode on June 14th, 2017, that did include .hack GU in the title. So I am not certain if and when Last Recollection will be announced by Bandai Namco. We'll just have to wait and see what they plan to do with that. So here's hoping maybe someday Last Recollection could be a remaster of the PS2 games, but I'm not going to speculate on that. And that's why you have never seen an announcement about Last Recollection from us. But let's talk about what was announced. We had a short little video trailer quickly running down memory lane on the three seasons of Dot Hack. Now in the video, they did make an announcement that the Hack 20th anniversary book was delayed, so most people knew about this before by the emails. If you had pre-ordered this book, it was supposed to be released this year, or this month. Um, unfortunately, that got pushed back a month, so we're looking at July 19th for that book to be published out into people's hands and shipped out. I ordered mine through Amazon Japan, where there's also EB10 and Raku10, who are also selling this book. Later this week, there is the .hack 20th article in the weekly Famitsu, which goes out uh, two days from now, on June 23rd, 2022. Should be covering what we saw in the video, and also more about the book. The book that was also published by Famitsu, which will be later out next month. So in the video, this is what we found out. We learned that the Dot Hack series was celebrating its 20th anniversary. They call it the 20th anniversary campaign event. In that, they did make mention of the book. Now, here's a couple new tidbits down here at the bottom. It says, contains visuals and precious reference materials from not only the games, but also the anime, the novels, and the comics. And comics, in this case, refers to manga. Packed with developer interviews, special feature survey data. Earlier this year, Famitsu had published a survey for people to fill out, and part of the terms was they could use whatever information you provided them in the survey 
and it may make an appearance in the book. So be sure to take a look at the book if you were one of the people who participated in that survey earlier this year. But here's something interesting down here, and even original manga. So what that tells me, there's going to be a brand new manga included in this little book. So be sure to learn more about those details next month as we get the book into our hands. Another book was announced, which came out of nowhere. And let me get this out in the open. Pretty much the anniversary campaign is all merchandise. There is no video games, like I said before, but we're looking at pretty much merchandise. So here's another book. This is an illustration book. And on the cover has this awesome art right here of Kite, Black Rose, Orca, and Belmont. All disintegrating, kind of like you would see in the opening of Da Hex Sign. This book has entries from the feature titles, the Dot Hack series, the GU series, GU Trilogy, which was the movie that CC2 had published, Dot Hack Link, Dot Hack Sekai no Munkao Ni, which is Beyond the World, which was another movie published by CyberConnect2, the Versus Hybrid Pack, which was the, the video game, the fighting game, Guilty Dragon, which was the mobile game, Dot Hack New World, which was the other mobile game, both of these two mobile games are discontinued, and Da Hack G Last Recode, which was released in 2017 for PS4 and Steam, and also this year, 2022, on the Nintendo Switch. So, this is just exclusively illustrations. We also have three new soundtracks called the Da Hack 20th Best Original Sound Collection, Volume 1, 2, and 3, with over 30 songs plus some new songs. Now, that would be quite interesting to find out what they consider new songs. Some of these songs have been in albums, they've been in the magazine albums, and also the anime's soundtracks by Victor Entertainment. So it would be pretty interesting to see a full track list of all these songs for all these albums. Now, an interesting design choice, and as you'll see on all these images on the bottom right, it says artwork is currently under production, which basically means these images are not final, but I thought it was an interesting look, what they did with the kind of a day, afternoon, and night type of little theme right here with Kite and Black Rose and their expressions changing, starting with the day type of little background, and then as you see the colors get a little warmer, like it's getting towards sunset and then nighttime with them just all relaxed and calm. I thought that was a pretty nice touch. There is a sale on all their ebooks, but some new ebooks were released, such as the Guilty Dragon Visual Works. It is a four volume book. These are available online as ebooks over on Amazon and a few other ebook readers. But what was interesting and they didn't really talk about this in the video announcements or even on the Twitter's uh, accounts, but if you notice over there on the far right, it says zero Japanese yen. These ebooks range from 2515, 2445, 2445, 3000, but the last book, Tahak Archives Volume 3, the ebook version is free. You can download, no, actually not download, but you can sign up on the ebook sites that this um, is available under, and you can also view them uh, if you have an Amazon Kindle that's registered in Japan. And you can also view it on that as well. So, if you never read through this book, this is your perfect opportunity, and there is a deadline. You have to purchase for free this book by July 4th. So make sure you get on that as soon as possible. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the free offer that they're offering to you right now. But let me show you real quick. This is the page you would go to. And right here you have Amazon Kindle. And you have to have a Amazon Japan account registered in order to download this Kindle version, but the book Star Walker and the book Live versions, I've had no troubles viewing. This is the book Star Walker version right here. You'll see price is free. It does have the original price below, but if you sign up with like your Facebook or Twitter accounts, and then you click on the order button at cart, 
then you will have full access to this book. So I'm going to click on login with Facebook. And here we go. So you can view this on the website and it gives you all the pages for free. Now I'll remind you, all these eBooks are in Japanese. None of them are in English. But volume three of DaHack Archives is solely on DaHack Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine. So you can view all this for yourself for free. Just sign up for one of those two websites of your choosing and you can view all these pages. I believe there are 310 pages to view. So I thought that was a nice little gift. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't very announced on their part. I, I'm not sure why. Also in the announcement was a art exhibit. An art exhibit between August 9th to August 28th of 2022. And this little image that they have here for it were the four main protagonists sitting on thrones with Tsukasa sitting on the throne with the Guardian in the background, Kite with Aura in the background, Haseo with Skeeth on the background, and Tokyo with Aika in the background. Uh, one thing that was interesting about this design choice, they've already used this. They used this back during the 2018 Happy New Year's with Haseo in his fifth form with all the epitaphs in the background. So, I don't know if this is supposed to be related to that, the significance of these stone thrones, but I thought it was an interesting choice. This exhibit is only available in Japan, and it's going to be at, it looks like a shopping mall of some sorts. I've been playing around with the Google Street Maps. And as you see right here, this is the building it's going to be taking place at. And it's called the Yura Kucho Itokia Office Tower. It's going to be on the seventh floor of this building. So if you're in Japan and you want to see this exhibit, this is going to be the building that's going to be taking place at over in Japan. A couple of little interesting shopping strip malls here. But the exhibit will definitely be taking place here. In other news, they also had a restock of these keychains specifically. So if you missed out on these, they are available for order again. And um, the other merchandise that we saw are not going to be available until December 2022. And the bad news we got uh, later this afternoon on the 21st was that you could only get them on the CC2 International Store. And why that's bad news is you can only order through World Shopping if you're going to purchase them internationally. It is an option, but not the best option. I've heard mixed reviews from other people. I myself have used World Shopping for all of the DaHack collection for 2021, 2022. I haven't had any problems, but I, might, I guess the problem most people have is they would like to have the option to have it shipped to the preferred forwarding service. So if someone was like using Zen Market or Bai, they would want shipped to there to have perhaps other items that they have being shipped to them combined rather than having to be forced into world shopping, which I understand. But I personally, I never had a problem with them. They don't really give you much options on shipping, such as EMS, DHL, or air services so you're kind of forced into whatever they provide for you which is typically ems so that's another point i can understand but i want to tell you right now the illustration book the albums will only be shipping through world shopping on the cc2 international store unless you buy second hand from someone who already purchased it and is reselling it or flipping it but typically flippers will raise the price up more so you're already going to pay more that way. Otherwise, the 20th anniversary book will be available from Amazon Japan, Rakuten, and EB10. So if you want to get that book by next month, be sure to pre-order that. 
and the weekly Famitsu is also available on Amazon Japan if you want to look at the history of the 20 years of dot .hack, a little brief little two-pager I imagine it's going to be in the this week's weekly Famitsu. So be sure to check that out as well. And we'll definitely cover those two items once they arrive here. And other than that, that's pretty much all we learned about the 20th anniversary of the dot .hack series. There's no anime, no video game, potentially a short little manga in the 20th anniversary book, but otherwise just merchandise and an art exhibit only in Japan. And I imagine that art exhibit will potentially not allow photography. I imagine most art exhibits won't allow photography, but I'm sure that the, the caretakers or the people who set it up might have their own photos available that you can take a look at. So if those photos do go up, we'll definitely cover them here on Dot Hack Network. But if you have any questions about Dot Hack, how to get into the series, or more information about the 20th anniversary announcement, or just general help about playing the games, watching the animes, you could definitely ask them down in the comments below. But I would strongly recommend join our community. Our community is very strong. Over 30 or over 3,000 members who are very knowledgeable about the series and available all times of the day. So be sure to give our Hack Discord uh, a follow. Just drop right in and introduce yourself. And we've broken it down to different categories based off the series. So we try to avoid spoilers by keeping the information contained by series. So if, if you starting out, you want to start with sign, head over to the .hack sign channel so you can discuss .hack sign specifically without getting into like, for example, the follow-up series, .hack GU, um, the later series information that could spoil some information about certain characters that you're not ready to be spoiled about. But otherwise, our community is very helpful and very welcoming. And I hope you feel welcome in our comments here on YouTube, over on our social media accounts, such as Twitter and Facebook, but also our Dahak Discord as well. And our goal is to provide you with all the latest information that we can find. And be sure to like, subscribe, and as I already mentioned, join our Dahak Discord for more information. And thank you for watching.